apologize for the sound and the look. Um, I'm a little under the weather today. This cold's been kicking my butt pretty hard. But I thought I'd take a few minutes to talk to you guys about customizing the GNOME desktop. Some people see my screenshots and they ask me, you know, that's not Debian. What what desktop are you really running? Is that elementary? Is that is that the new Fedora? Is that a new beta? And reality is, uh, I'm usually just running. I mean, I am just running good old fashioned Debian Stretch. Again, stable, and I love it. But how do you make it look like a modern desktop? Plus, let's face it, Debian Stable's uh, default desktop theme is a little long in the tooth. But the nice thing is, theming is not as hard as you think it is. In your root folder, you have different dot folders that you can put things in. For example, we can ls.themes. In my dot themes folder, I can install themes manually that just show up in my, in my theme chooser. And you're thinking, okay, what about icons? It's just as easy as that. A dot, dot themes folder, dot icons folder. And then what about custom fonts? You guessed it, dot fonts. So what's, how do you get these things to install? First, we'll talk about fonts. The easiest way, in my opinion, and the largest repository of maintained and updated open source fonts is Google fonts. Copying Google fonts to your system is as easy as going git clone that, and then whatever folder you point it at, for example, fonts, it'll grab all the newest fonts, some of them that were updated four days ago, right into your uh, fonts folder. And you can just script this and have this run every month or something like that. And you always have the freshest open source fonts organized and put together by Google. I'm not gonna run this because I actually have a custom thing going on that. So we'll come back to that. Extensions. Uh, up here, I have this transparent top bar. I have icons all the way over here. I have this awesome clock interface. I have this sync thing indicator right here. I have a lot of extra things that don't come default in GNOME, and these are extensions. Also, the dock here at the bottom, this is the dash, but it's, it's now permanently out. It's on the bottom, it's in the middle, and it's very customizable. These extensions help me do that. Caffeine keeps my screen awake. A dash to dock down here. Um, dynamic panel transparency. That's why this is translucent. Open weather. That's this again. You know, little things like that. And you can get these at extensions.gnome.org. And everything on here, of course, is free and open source. So when it comes to the themes and the icons, the best place, in my opinion, is Gnome Look. Gnome Look has a large com community built icon and theme building for GNOME 2, GNOME 3, GTK 1, GTK 2. And for example, here, if you want to install this slightly ghastly theme, you just go to the th page, click files, grab that uh, zip or uh, package or whatever, un extract it into your dot themes or dot icons folder. And as soon as you open up GNOME Tweak, it's there waiting for you, ready to go. It's really easy, it's really simple. And then you can customize beautiful desktops like, yeah, very easy, very simple, very friendly. So and if you have any more questions, uh, feel free to hit me up in the comments below or follow me on Mastodon and I can answer them there. Well, thank you for watching my ridiculous little video. I uh, hope, hope this helped out with the customization and all that kind of fun stuff. And now I'm going to take some time to get less sick. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Uh, peace.